The world of the North Carolina Zoo, even from some from, as they like to say, down under. The land down under. Shannon Smith shows us a pair of very unique creatures native to Australia that just moved to our zoo. There you go. The North Carolina Zoo's newest pair of creatures look like a cross between a kangaroo and a rat. But they are actually not a rat and are actually closely related to kangaroos and wallabies. So they are a marsupial and these guys are from Australia. The brush-tailed batongs have a pouch for babies and jump just like kangaroos. They are tiny though, less than two feet tall, but still pack a lot of power in that small body. These guys will actually move like six tons of soil every year. They will spread fungus spores, seeds, flowers, all that good stuff. So they really act as gardeners. But in the wild, brush-tailed batongs could be on the brink of extinction, listed as critically endangered by conservationists because their population has declined by up to 90% since the late 90s. Unfortunately, they're endangered due to foxes and feral cats that were brought in by humans and they're being outcompeted and obviously hunted by these predators. The North Carolina Zoo is helping to save their species by bringing these two to live in the nocturnal habitat of the Desert Dome. The hope is with having a healthy captive population, we can keep the genetics alive. So these guys are an important part of making sure that we don't lose this species forever. The male and female arrived earlier this year and so far seem to be getting along nicely. And the hopes are that they're coming here and maybe we'll get little joeys or something like that. At the North Carolina Zoo, Shannon Smith, Fox 8 News. Conservation efforts to save wild brush-tailed bedongs have also seen a lot of success.